Are you looking for a family-friendly, luxurious place to live in Florida? Well, stick around because we're talking about Western Florida today. What's up everybody, it's April Laura, your Florida Realtor, right here in Weston, Florida today with Ryan. Hey. And we're gonna be telling you about Weston and if this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know everything there is about working, eating, sleeping, playing, and living in Florida, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video because it's pretty much all I talk about. My team and I specialize in relocating and educating people in Florida and all of the communities in Florida and we'd love to help you too. So make sure you give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, somehow get in touch with us because we've got your back when you move to Florida now let's tell them about Weston. Today we are talking about Weston, Florida, and we want to give you some information on the area, what it's like, and what the home prices are, kind of a little bit of everything, an overview, so that you can decide whether Weston is the right place for you and your family. Weston, Florida is the westernmost city in Broward County. It is about 35 miles from Miami, 20 miles or so from Fort Lauderdale and the city is 26 square miles in total. It is snuggled between the Everglades and borders uh, Davie, Southwest Ranches, and Sunrise. Yes, and you know, that location is great, but also some negatives I think would be, you're close to Miami and close to certain things, but you're kind of far away from like the beach and some other areas. So that could be a plus or, or minus for you. So it's definitely something that you should take into consideration and make sure you're looking at the map so you see exactly where it's located. On any given day, I would say your trip to the beach would be about 30 minutes without traffic and maybe 45 to Miami. Yes, but whenever you're going into Miami, it also depends on the time of day, <laughs> the day that you're going. So that 45 minutes could very easily turn into two, two hours. hours. <laughs> It's happened to me many times. So you just have to make sure that you're going outside of rush hour. And unfortunately, when you're going to Miami, rush hour is not just like five o'clock. It's really- <laughs> It's five to five. <laughs> it's, it starts much earlier. So I would say you'd have to leave well before four o'clock in order to not hit rush hour in traffic. It's a beautiful secluded city. It's a master plan community. And what that means is it, it's broken up into two different divisions and there are about 23 beautifully gated communities. And there's a lot of green space. Weston kind of reminds me a little bit about how well manicured and beautiful Boca Raton is. And I often have buyers that are looking in both of those cities because of the similarities that they have, which we'll get into more of those similarities shortly. But it's a really beautiful landscaped, very manicured, very pretty, lots of gated communities there as well. Now with that seclusion, there are a few other drawbacks as far as shopping, dining out, you don't you're you're more limited to options out in Weston. There are a few close by, but you know, we know how it is to go to the same restaurant every single week, you know, you kind of want to switch things up. So, a anticipate a 25 minute drive roughly. Yeah. I mean, they do have the town center there in Weston, which is a great little town center. It's kind mm -hmm. of small. You can get coffee. There's some great lunch spots, there's some good restaurants, but you know, to your point, if you want to have more variety as far as dining out or entertainment, you're probably going to go outside of Weston, which is okay too. Yeah, just down the road you've got Sawgrass Mills, which is the 11th largest mall Huge. in the United States, yeah. and it's got all of your fine Burberry, Gucci, everything that you might want. 
is in that mall. It has a uh, high end, but it also has everything else that is average shopping mm -hmm. where you would find at any other mall. TJ Maxx, Ross, Brand Smart, you name it, you're going to be able to find it. And it's an outlet mall, it so is. You, it is. you're going to find better pricing on all those things. Yep. And then south of there is also Pembroke Lakes Mall, which is another. That's just a regular mall, regular size, mm -hmm. and you have some great options there too. Exactly. We mentioned 23 communities and gated communities. There are a lot of gated communities and developments within Weston. So a lot of people do like that aspect because they do feel like there it's a higher level of safety. And some of those communities are called... We have Botanica West, Bonaventure, and Bermuda Springs, just to name a few. Yes, and these are all great communities and because it is a master plan, single family homes, mostly community. There are some townhomes in Weston, but I would say the average price range is around 700 to about 900, wouldn't you say, Ryan? Yes, and up. Yes, and then of course it goes up from there and you know, that's starting with like a three, two, and then, you know, going into the 900s be more like a four, four bedroom and plus. So of course the homes there can, go into the multi-millions, but for the most part, it's from 700 to 900, and then in the, you know, 1 million to, to 1.3, 1 1.3, yeah, 3 or 4 or 5, so. It depends on the, the features that you want in that, in that house. And whether or not the home is renovated. Now, there's almost no need for a private pool, although we all like them, because every single one of these communities has luxury, high-end clubhouses. Amenities. Olympic sized swimming pools, playgrounds, green spaces for your kids. I mean, everything you could want in a community, you're going to find in any one of these developments in Weston. So, the median age range in Weston that's buying is about 35 years old and people that live there. And that makes a lot of sense because most of the people that are buying there, they either have children or they're going to start a family or, you know, they're a young family. And the draw there really is the schools, the amenities, the homes, all of it. So, it's really the perfect place for a young family to live, have all the extracurriculars, all the great schools that we'll get into in just a minute. Just a really easy way to live because it's kind of like encapsulated. Kind of like, mm -hmm. it reminds me a little bit of uh, like Wellington. Very because very Yeah, so it reminds me of Boca Raton with the manicured and Wellington's also very manicured and it's a master plan community. Mm -hmm but it's really like kind of in a bubble. So when you're in Weston, you're really kind of living in a bubble and everything's kind of there, except for a few things that you might go outside of that city for, mm -hmm. but it's just a huge draw for families. Even like Parkland. Yes. You'll see that in the next video we do. <laughs> So very family oriented. There's all kinds of incredible parks in the area. Mm -hmm. Weston has over 15 parks. Its largest park is Weston Regional Park. It's over 100 acres. It's a place to raise your family. You know, you have the security on top of family oriented communities. That's what you're gonna find. Coupled with the school districts out there is yeah. one of the best places in Florida to raise your family. All of the schools, elementary, middle, and high school, they're all rated A or A+, plus, mm -hmm. which means a nine out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, every single one of them. So you can understand the draw there. Some people, instead of putting their children into private schools, which Weston does have private schools as well, instead of putting that expense into private schools, they'll put the expense into the home in the area and then be able to send their children to really great schools. And you can check those on greatschools.org and also on niche.com, you can also check safety ratings, which it does get an A plus for safety. On everything. Niche.com has given Weston an A minus on public schools, an A for families, a B for crime, B for nightlife, and A for diversity. Here we go. <clears throat> um, okay. A notable Stop for a <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Stop opening chips. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like Lay's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. But in order to find that perfect place that you are looking for or wanting to go see, or maybe you just have questions about, make sure you give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, somehow get in touch with us, because we've got your back when you move to Florida. And until next video, I'll catch you later.